Ja, yeah, the Spongebob Movie. Evie, what's happening? Engineer. Emergency. Alert. Subject. 018. Has experienced a critical fall. Condition. Unknown. Give me details. Checking. High probability of wrist fracture. Possible hip fracture. Low probability of head injury. Subject 018. Is currently struggling to move. Present signs of pain and distress. Evie, start contacting emergency protocol. Also begin Hawk protocol. Affirmative. Emergency contacts have already been notified. Now beginning safe eye, Hawk protocol. Uh. Now activating stage two of safe eye Hawk protocol. Primary self care first aid protocol has been initiated. If you grant me directions and send it to my phone, also, take care of straight for me. Guys, I gotta go. I'll be back, guys. Affirmative. GPS direction estimates time of arrival. 13 minutes. Sent to you by SMS. I will handle stream, sir. Now activating go to sleep little ones protocol. Hello everyone. Ken is currently away from the computer. I will be ending stream momentarily. Please be advised that this is an emergency that requires engineer's attention. Home verification protocol activated. Garage door open. Now closing garage door. Engineer will update you when he returns. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye. Okay, so. A lot has happened. First things first, she is okay. Okay, I was the first one to arrive uh, at her house, and um, I was the first point of contact. Um, she's okay. Uh, slight fracture, just minor fracture, and um, she's still in the hospital because as you get older, uh it's harder for you to heal so she's still there um i have to check in on her tomorrow night there there is something that i wanted to share with you guys and this is this is going to be hard for me okay so bear with me here i'm going to be struggling a little bit i've been thinking about this all weekend and i know many of you have said that you're proud and you know it looked like it worked really well and at the time, I was super, super excited. I wasn't excited that someone fell. I was excited that things were working. Things were happening. I was super, super pumped for what this meant. I, I did everything I could. Um, I arrived there. EMS arrived a, bit, a little bit after me. It was like, I think it was like two and a half minutes after me. So super quick. So that just goes to show how quickly response can get to you. Now. I think some of you may have noticed I haven't been very proud and excited as I should be because this is a great achievement. This is a great step in the right direction. This is like exactly what I want you to do. I did not know how to, to share this with you guys because as many of you know, I, I'm really hard on myself and it's not easy for me to share things. Uh, I take on a lot of the responsibility myself. I take on a lot of the pressure myself. And I was thinking about how I should share this with you guys, but I figured I just, you know, I would just share it with you guys and maybe we can brainstorm a solution together. The video you just saw was three minutes and 40 seconds after the initial fall. I got to watch the footage, and I'm, I have, I'm not sharing the footage today, um, but I'll explain what happened in the footage that Evie caught. I got to see what happened afterwards. So when I came home from the hospital, I got to see what happened to her, what happened to Evie, how things went down. 
as exciting as this uh, this was, and I know this isn't going to look good for investors, I wanted to be as transparent as possible so that we can fix it. You know, I am always a believer in making mistakes and fixing them as opposed to just glossing over them. Call it four minutes. I watched for four minutes as she slipped and fell and was screaming and in pain for four minutes. Yeah. That, uh, uh, to put it bluntly. Um, I've, and I've watched it several dozen times. I've watched it a lot to try to understand what had happened. And it broke my heart. It was one of those moments where a human could be like, obviously, this person is in trouble. Obviously, this person is in need of help. And yet, Evie didn't do anything for roughly four minutes. So the video you saw was actually four minutes after the incident happened. I've sort of determined what sort of one. I kind of broke it down in my head. It took all weekend, and I, I've been working tirelessly on it. But from what I could understand, like I said, I'm not going to show the footage because I, I don't have permission to show someone else's home, someone else's you know, figure, face, etc. Uh, I have not gotten permission yet, so I'm not going to share the video. But in the video, we ran into a couple issues. As she was leaving her house, there's a camera outside her house and inside her house at the front corridor. She was in between those two cameras. And on the camera, all you see was her legs slip out and then her legs writhing on the floor. And you can hear her voice. You can hear her screaming. You can hear her crying. And, and it sounded to me as a human that she was saying help. Like, I need help. Like she was crying for someone to help her. She was saying, help me. Uh, there's a lot of crying. There's a lot of, you know, like yelling and screaming. But uh, Evie didn't see her face or her body, her full body. She only saw her feet. In most of these scenarios, in most of these cases, you know, and a lot of the testing we do, we have something that's called a confidence rate. And how a lot of the system works is based on confidence rates because out of a thousand different possible scenarios, or in this case, however many we've created, the system has to account for all of them. The system has to account for a thousand different scenarios or a thousand different probable outcomes or likely outcomes before it makes a decision on what's happening. And this is the part where AI gets a little bit tricky because if she's not incredibly confident, then she won't proceed. And so in order for her to become more confident, she has to test and test and test and then hypothesize and test those and then you know infer on the data that she's given. At first, she didn't recognize it as a fall. She recognized it as someone standing and kicking. One of the things that had happened was the camera shook. She didn't know that if, if that was someone was falling or if it was just her closing the door because Every time she closes the door, the camera shakes because it's mounted on the wall and the door slams shut and the camera vibrates. So that was another point of contention where it's like, did someone actually fall and hit the ground? Or was that just a door slamming? Because every time she left the house, the algorithm just calculates that she's going to cause camera shake. So she didn't, Evie didn't recognize it as a fall. So visually, things were really murky, right? The only reason why she thought it might be something else was because she didn't see her on camera. So a physical presence wasn't detected leaving the house. So she knew that she was still in the house, but she wasn't there, but she was there. So there's inferred data there, but the confidence rate is so low. We're talking like 14%. Now, there's also sound. We never explicitly talked about screaming, the sound of screaming, or what screaming sounds like, or how imperceivable someone's voice can be while they're in pain and so with the screaming and with the, the the asking for help the confidence rate was extremely low it's something that we never distinguished and never worked with i never i didn't i didn't think about you know i i, I failed to think about it so something i need to add uh, later on it, it was hard it was hard to listen to it was hard to to know that that's such an obvious thing 
uh, I was so oblivious. To it. I was like, of course, people scream when they when they're hurt. And so, yeah, so that, then so the confidence rate is super low, especially with her voice and stuff. So what happens with Evie is that she would have a low confidence rate and then she would be like, OK, we need to start testing for another another probable outcome. And that confidence rate was really low. So you need to test again. That was really low and test again. That was really low and then test again. And that was really low. And it's like all these sequential tests for like a full four minutes. Like, what if someone was choking? What if someone was at a, at a time sensitive thing? Like, what if someone was having a stroke? Every minute counts. You know what I mean? I, I really wanted to be happy because I, I, so many people were messaging me and like saying like, oh, this is great. Like everything was working and stuff. And I was I, I really wanted to be happy. But I, I really, really struggled this weekend. Many sleepless nights. And I, I know it, it doesn't look like I'm super tired today. I actually have concealer on because I know today is a sponsored stream. <laughs> today is a sponsored stream, so I have to be happy. I have to be upbeat in a little bit here. Um, so I'm actually wearing concealer today. Uh, <laughs> uh, and I can't cry. That's, that's, that's the truth. You know, that's, that's what happened. You know, I haven't been able to like talk to anyone about it. And I, I, haven't, I haven't truly figured out everything in my head. Yeah, that's that's the truth for you guys. You know, that's the the honest, transparent truth about what happened. <sighs> Honestly, I hope that we can come together to try to figure out maybe something that's a better solution or maybe we can figure out like a, a better method to do these things. Or we maybe we can figure out something that's you know, like better suited for these things. I, I had a talk with a, a, a life insurance broker, like an agent for life insurance, and we talked about literally the elderly and them falling and how it could be cata- like catastrophic for their health it reduces their life expectancy by so much and i literally literally just had a conversation about it so it was like fresh in my mind so when this happened i was like oh my god like this could change everything but then i and then i saw the footage afterwards and i was like i need i need to do better and, and in all honesty let's just like the, the, the simple hard truth is that am i happy that she got help absolutely a hundred percent i am so glad that it worked in that sense um but you know a a part of me is always going to have that it could be a little bit better and until you know like i sort that part out i won't be satisfied that but that's just me though you guys i mean you guys know me i'm i'm very like (laughs) I'm very, I'm very difficult on myself. And it's not to say that I'm like, I dislike myself or I'm like, like overly hard on myself. It's just, that's just the way I am. You know, like that's the only, (laughs) that's the only reason things actually get done on the stream. (laughs) You know, that's the only reason why like we can move so quick. Um, But uh, it's a double edged sword. So, but I, I wanted to tell you guys, you know, I thought about, I'm like, I thought about not saying anything. I thought about just like pretending to be happier. I really did. Cause I, I was like, I want, I want people to have confidence. I want people to be excited about it. I want people to be like, Oh, things are working really well. I didn't want to break that, that hope. Uh, about the same time, I knew that I could not live with myself. If I could not tell the truth, if I could not, be transparent if i could not share these things with you guys because these are the these are the moments that we we need you know like i'm an all i'm an 100 percent advocate of making mistakes i i think you have to make mistakes in order to learn a lot happened this weekend that's why i wanted to share with you guys i didn't want to bring down your mood or anything i didn't want to like drop a bomb on you guys i just wanted to let you know what had happened so that we can learn from it we can do better next time i'm realizing how human i am how different machines and humans really are yeah i didn't want a failure to be out there because as an investor you see failure and all you see is liability and we really really do need investor backing it's not something that's just 
be like, oh, I wish it happens. No, it's like if this project is to get off its feet, it's needed. If I was an investor, I would want to go into something believing in the person who's behind it rather than the actual product itself. Because anyone can make a product, anyone can sell something. But I, I, I would want to know that it's in good hands. And I, that's why I'm like, if I'm, an investor sees this, and if you see this and you're an investor out there, just know that if you're investing money into a project like this, you need to know exactly the things that are happening and the issues that are coming up and to know that I know the importance of it and that I'm working on it. Those are those are the things in my head. <laughs> those are my those are the thoughts in my head. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm sorry I missed a lot of your messages. I I really wanted to make sure I got this out there the way I wanted to present it before I read anyone's messages. And I will read all your messages. For those of you who don't know, I know a little bit insane, but that's just because how how much I value you guys and your opinion and your voice. <laughs> and a lot of you don't know that, but yeah, I'm hoping. I, my, here, here are my new goals. I'm hoping that we can take this moment to, to learn from this, um, this incident, to do better, um, to work on fixing some of the things that I think we should fix. Uh, and if you guys have issues that you think we should add to it or we should fix as well, I would love to hear it. I would love to hear your, your thoughts about that. And yeah, I, I want to hear ideas. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I know today started off a little bit heavy, but uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you guys and, and all your support. If you guys have any ideas, uh, leave them in the comments below and I'd love to hear all of them. And I will see you nerds next time. Bye.